still breathing. I know. I'm just going out and have a look. Then two or three longer. There's just one down in here. Then back to me. Boys, just not to ask any questions. Go on Wake up, Fred. Hey. <coughs> we thought about giving up the ghost there, didn't we? <coughs> Fancy another rant. <coughs> Time for your morning bath, my lord. At this rate, I don't think he's going to last much longer. <laughs> Come on now, just a few more steps. Yeah, not so hard, was it? Here we go again. You about ready? These things take time. Put him back here. You can do this all day, mate. Come on, give up your collaborator. It's that tasty bird, isn't it? Maybe I can give her a go, eh? I'm quite enjoying this, are you? You little shit! <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
up. All right, mate. Not a word. Inside. Close them. Let's just talk this through, shall we? You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. Walking dead, that's where you are. You're gonna wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. Oh! 
yourself up, monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. Over, Galahad. Surrender yourself. Raise your hands now. Raise your hands. Hands up. Gray. Don't do this. I said surrender. Hands on your head. You have betrayed our order. No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! I read you, Percival. We're in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation that multiple marks of Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Igrain and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Right in front of me. Good. Assess the situation once there and proceed with caution. Did Nicola provide you with armament? Yes. Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion's secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got it out.
Morning. Good day, sir. It befell in the days of Uther Pendragon, when he was king of all England, and so reigned that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time, and the duke was called the Duke of Tintagil. And so by means, King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady, and a passing wise, and her name was called Igraine. So when the duke and his wife were come unto the king, by the means of great lords they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he made them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I counsel you, that we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. From Negative. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. Doctor, ma'am. 
job. I know that my father is. I've seen plenty of people struggle with his condition. Constable, this man needs medical attention. Unfortunately, ma'am, all medical personnel are currently unavailable. Let them hear me. Galahad, see that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. Who might cares to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel? My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best in his day. Was? You're still pretty good, but I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Rain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Gray. Let's move. Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble? The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Take cover! Come on! Come on! Let's get to work. Be more appropriate. Shit. More escapees coming from the alley. Some are heading for the atrium. There are more in the courtyard. It's on the stairs! Talk! 
Enemy down. I swear I'll blast this head into goddamn mash! Help! Oh, damn it! There could be more in the atrium. We should move in. They've locked the door. I can hear more commotion inside. Hurry. More bedlamites inside. Stun! Take the shot! Slaughtering them. Ready? Let's get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Right. Smoke at me. Fuck off. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right. Let's go. Down. There were more on the level above. We need to get up there. Got it! We should clear the second floor. Everything to your liking thus far? Just another ordinary London morning. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning.
ladies first. Quiet. You think we'll get to shoot a few of them rich folk? Huh? Say no more. I'll take that as a yes. Escape me down! Room clear. Ready when you are, Galahad. You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? Well, he's your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur, uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis, your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, well, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur. A man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté! Passe-moi.
strange. Let's go. It's about time. Marquis, you and Lady Green take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We miss you. Sir. to all knights in the vicinity of Mayfair. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped patients. Acknowledge. Are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. Oui, mademoiselle. But I have not met any resistance yet. Yeah. <laughs> 
Monsieur! What happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. The grain, I need your help. Come. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Everyone all right? Yes. First of all, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. White chap. Purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis. Nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur le nouveau continent. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. It's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. 
as long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue. The plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together, lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel, but the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does. Lord Chancellor, perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. The nays have it. This Council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. Mm -hmm. You heard the Lord Chancellor. The Council will not stand for it. Brother Knight has made a habit of contravening his orders lately. 